Got a couple of things to go over, but I wanted to start here first because this is funny coming from CBR and other outlets like them. You know, now that the the Disney Star Wars movies have completed at least the sequel trilogy, now these outlets are coming out and talking about some of the poor decision making that they did with those movies, which I find funny. You had nothing you had nothing negative to say while those movies were coming out because, well, that might have put a, a bad image on Disney. So we don't do it then. But now that those, those sequel trilogy movies are done, now it's okay to come down on them. Uh, but the funniest thing in here is this little text right here, toxic sections of the fandom. They make sure to smear fandom menace, the fandom menace audience, but they also smear Raylos, which I thought was kind of funny because to be honest, usually they leave Raylos alone because Raylos are like, that's the audience that Lucasfilm is very proud of. Uh, Lucasfilm is very proud of Raylos. They love Raylos. This is the audience that Lucasfilm truly wants. They don't want you. They want Raylos. So to see them smear Raylos a little bit is kind of interesting. But they point out here, they say, while a minority of sequel ha haters may have been motiv motivated by racism and sexism, the defenders have been no less bad, especially the Raylos. Motivated by their love of Kylo Ren, one of the sequel's best written characters, and Ray's relationship, they've tried to make that ship happen in real life, sending threats to Adam Driver's wife, going after John Boyega, and generally being terribly racist and sexist in a different way than the haters. Now, I don't like how they try to tie the fandom menace in with these people, because you know that's who they're talking about. That's who they're trying to smear, because they hate the Phantom Menace, because they get more noticed from Disney than they do, and CBR and outlets like CBR desperately want to be up there at the top and relevant. Uh, but they still went after Raylos, which I think is funny, because this is something you don't see from the media very often. You don't see them talk about this and call it out. Raylos absolutely did do these things. They did go after Adam Driver and his family. They did go after John Boyega. This is uh, after the sequel trilogy finished. Uh, if you remember, he was dunking all over Raylos, and it was absolutely hilarious. Uh, they were all getting upset by that. And uh, I thought that was great. So this, of course, has Raylos very, 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 very mad. Oh, rewriting Ripley. Uh, co-host here very upset lol one Raylos aren't an organized group this is just, this is like saying people who wanted to give solo a sequel are like this also too mostly these are mostly tfm conspiracy theories against women who are a threat to their beliefs and interests but go and spew hate group talking points cbr no Raylos absolutely have done disgusting things they recently were trying to show up at daisy ridley's house and stuff like that. And then you've got the stuff with rewriting Ripley. Absolutely terrible, terrible part of the fan base. And it's it's funny to see them react. It's like, oh, okay. You, know, you don't like it when you guys get smeared, huh? So the big story here that I wanted to touch on was this. So it's from Pirates and Princesses by WDW Pro, who puts out some pretty solid stuff. Insider for uh, Disney talks about the parks a lot so he usually knows what he's talking about it says galaxy's edge phase two expansion likely on long-term pause this is interesting for a few reasons one this was supposed to be the big shot in the arm for disney putting galaxy's edge in there and it really didn't turn out to be the success that they thought it was going to be and a lot of this has to do with the fact that well what is Galaxy's Edge? You know, it's like some outpost. Everyone knows the real story that this was supposed to be Tatooine. And Kathleen Kennedy put in a call and said, well, we're not making this for 40-year-old fans. We're making this for the for the stories of tomorrow. 
We're creating a whole bunch of new fans with our sequel trilogy. We need to we need to make sure that it's not connected. We need to we need to take it in a different direction. And the idiots that <laughs> behind uh, the park stuff listen to her and turn it into Galaxy's Edge when they should have made it Tatooine. And doing that really brought down a lot of the excitement for it. Because let me explain it to you this way. If you ever go to Universal Studios or if you've been to Universal Studios and you see that Harry Potter stuff that they have, that looks like Harry Potter from the movies. It feels like you're in Harry Potter's world. You just be If you've just seen those movies, you recognize everything in there. You could watch all the Star Wars movies and you might get a resemblance of some Star Wars stuff in Galaxy's Edge, but there's nothing from the movies that you're really going to see. Plus, they don't have any of the loved characters other than maybe Chewbacca walking around. It's all the sequel trilogy characters. They've got the sequel trilogy stormtroopers there. It's a stupid move. The big rumor was that they were going to bring Mandalorian stuff in. I don't know if they're, they they haven't done that yet as far as I know. So I don't even know if that's going to happen. But apparently, there were plans to expand Galaxy's Edge. That was always in the cards. It was built to be expanded on to make it bigger, to get the excitement going again. Through a big terminal, there's a there's a doorway there. You can tell it was going to lead to a new spot. It's the doorway to nowhere. And apparently that's been abandoned. Well, not officially abandoned, put on pause. Likely not going to happen. I, I think they'll build something else, to be honest. And that somewhat seems to be confirmed. As they're discussing below that it's going to be turned into a terminal, probably for their hotel, that that Star Wars hotel resort that's coming. But let me let me read this part here, right here. The area was expected to be a big success for Disney in the studios, particularly. The area was designed in such a way to allow for significant expansion beyond just the additional restaurant. The expansion on both coasts was designed to allow for the Hollywood Studios Galaxy Edge to have a major real estate available to it south and southwest of its current footprint. Now, however, signs point to what has internally referred to as Phase 2 being phased out. The previously planned gateway was reportedly the massive door to nowhere near the Kylo Ren cameo area. In the image below, the gateway is located in the upper right portion of the aerial photo. The reason we believe that Disney is likely moving away from the expansion anytime soon is due to the expansion gateway now reportedly being used as the terminal for the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser guest arrivals and departures to the park. You can see where work has occurred on the previous expansion gateway, now turning it into a terminal for hotel guests. And then they have this pointing out right here. This is not where the terminal had to be. Another location would have been slightly more work for Disney, but also better for guests and a few and future expansions is near the Millennium Falcon. This location would have had guests enter the land with the spectacle of the ship directly in front of them. However, it appears that appears to have been discarded along with the expansion due to convenience and lower capital. Even before the coup, Galaxy's Edge was the first Disney expansion we can recall that either did not increase in ten attendance or even lower attendance. So that's interesting. So, and, and that is true when Galaxy's Edge opened, like it really didn't increase anything. I remember when that happened, everybody was laughing about it. So, Interesting stuff here. I wonder what's going on with Disney. So they're apparently they were working on expanding and they've just dropped that immediately. And now it's going to just be used as the terminal for the hotel guests. But they make a good point here. They could have had the terminal start somewhere else. And instead of expanding, they've ditched it. So interesting stuff. I wonder, is the priority shifting? I'm surprised they're not trying to... Well, I guess they have Avengers Campus that's coming. So, we'll see. Like, I'm so, I'm shocked that there's not more Marvel stuff popping up. Maybe that's what they'll do. They'll expand. <laughs> you walk out from the Star Wars stuff into the Marvel stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much it. 
Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.